Rise Royals. All right, let's go in and let's see what's going on inside of your Twin Flame connection. All right, you guys, if you're new here, I am Goddess Platinum and you have made it to the home of the Twin Flames. I'm so happy to have you here. Okay, let's dive straight in and let's see what is going on and who we are connecting with all right you guys i see a lot of new uh new faces what's up what's up <laughs> thank you guys so much for subscribing who are we connecting with spirit okay so we have aquarius out here okay have Gemini Gemini coming out strong okay Gemini twice we got Virgo we have Capricorn okay we have Pisces Taurus let's grab one more and Capricorn again okay so Capricorn and Gemini are the strongest energies that's coming through for this group okay let's dive in let's get some messages from your person let's see what the energy is okay again this will be a short energy check okay see what's going on let's see what's going on you know what i'm gonna just go ahead and pick the cards from the top of the deck okay let's see what's the first card mm. <laughs> i want to be your masculine okay so i feel like this is somebody in an energy where I don't know if they were operating from their masculine energy when they were with you. You know what I'm saying? As far as, you know, taking care of the connection, you know, being responsible. But whatever this was, you did leave the connection. Okay, you left the connection and you left this masculine very... Um, it's like you left them sitting in their own hole, right? The hole that they dug, you left them in it, okay? Because we do have, why did you leave at the top of the deck, okay? Why did you leave, okay? So, yeah. So, now this masculine, okay, is um, very regretful okay is what i'm feeling very regret regretful in a state of maybe uh confusion like what's going on here look you opened up to me emotionally right this is what you did Right. And I feel like they think about the fact that no one has ever really opened up to them emotionally on the level that you did. You even opened up this person emotionally. OK, maybe someone was dealing with someone that was very emotionally unavailable. Right. And they know they have to step into an energy that is going to complement you. Right. An energy where it allows you to, you know, step into your femininity, okay, and allows them to be the masculine that you want them to show up in, okay? Look, this is not what I want, okay? This separation, okay? The separation that's going on now between you two, this is not what this person wants. This was actually the last thing that this person wanted, honestly, okay? I do feel like, you know, my divine feminines decided to step away from this connection and they probably thought that you would never do that. Right. And now, so now they're sitting in this hole that they dug, you know, and they're thinking about 
how they contributed to, you know, this connection really not thriving, right? In the way that they would have liked it to. Thank you, spirit, right? This is so intense. I'm trying to tell you, okay? They're still feeling your energy, all right? Your divine feminine energy, your very healing energy, right? Your loving energy, and it's very, very intense for this person. Like, I feel like this person goes through their day and it's just like this feeling comes over them that's very overwhelming, very intense of love, right? This person still loves you. Okay, let's get the next card. Overdosed on readings. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Now, this is not your person. This is definitely you. Okay? I feel like uh, for a lot of you, even though you left the connection, you're still thinking about the connection. You know, you're not over the connection. Someone is overdosing on readings here. Um, if this person has never watched readings before, this person has definitely been watching readings on you. Okay? Okay? You may feel this energy coming from this person, right? Maybe you even feel like, wow, like this is not even, you know, my person's personality. Like they would never watch readings. Oh, never think you know <laughs> for sure, okay? Because you just never know what people are doing, right? Okay, definitely picking up an energy of, uh, you know, reading, watching, Okay, them trying to learn more about you, them trying to, to figure out, you know, what they need to do to step into their masculine, okay, them knowing that there's a change that needs to happen here, okay, look at this, let me spoil you, okay, so this person, you guys, I feel like they spoiled you in ways that you've never had you know what I'm saying? And I don't mean like spoiled you with things. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person spoiled you uh, when it came to conversation, right? This person, I feel like uh, knows how to hold a very good conversation, right? Mm -hmm. They spoiled you in ways of like doing things for you. Right. Not do not not like, you know, material things. OK, I'm not picking that up. I pick, I'm picking up more of like doing. You never had someone uh, do the things that they did for you like this person did. OK, let's keep going. In the end, I'm trying to tell you, in the end, I know we will be together. Okay, so this person is definitely going through some type of transformation, some type of awakening, all right? They're saying this is so intense. This is intense, okay? So they are feeling something here, okay? Something's working, okay? If you pulled your energy back or you disconnected from this person, this is what's drawing this person back in. Right. This is what has this person almost a little. I feel a little obsession right going on here. OK, a little obsessed with you. Look, I miss the way you touch me. Mm, and this can be as small as, you know, a simple hug. Right. The way you used to hug this person. Right. The embrace, the. The love that projected from you to them, you know, was so real, right? It, it was so real. It was so intense, right? Maybe you used to touch their face or their head. That's what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. And they love that. They miss that, right? Um, I see somebody, like, rubbing in their person's beard or, or their hair, okay? That touch, that magical touch of yours, right, is making them ask you, don't give up on me, okay? This person doesn't want you to give up on them. They feel 
like that's exactly what you're doing like you're going to move on right I don't feel like my divine feminines are giving up on the masculine I just feel like you guys are in an energy where you're just like okay I need to do what I need to do right I need to keep keep pushing forward look at this incoming messages this person's getting ready to contact you they're getting ready to contact you they're gonna call you text you uh something like that okay something is definitely coming in here okay messages of love this person does not want to let you go this person is feeling um feeling so very intense that they can't hold back anymore okay so don't be surprised if you get a message from this person okay look at this because they know that your heart is pure right you have one of the purest hearts that your person has ever experienced, right? And they don't take this lightly, right? This isn't what they wanted. They didn't want separation from you. <laughs> they want to do over. They want to do over. This person is the type of person that feels like people deserve a second chance, right? And they feel like if you give them a second chance, they will be able to show you that they can show up in this masculine energy the way you need them to. You opened me up emotionally. Right? They have never felt this in their life all these emotions this new energy that you have introduced them to this safe space that you have created for this person okay they're saying they're more wounded than you know okay if you think this person is skating gliding on through life like you know they never met something so divine in their life Okay, this couldn't be furthest from the truth. They know who you are. They want to come back into your life and they want to spoil you. Okay. Now, this ain't going to be for everybody. I feel like this is a very um, specific message. Okay. I feel like I failed you over and over. Okay, didn't I say regret is here? Okay, this person came into your life and they showed you time and time again that they didn't deserve you. You know, they feel like they felt this connection. They feel like a failure. But I feel like this person is definitely stepping into new energy, you guys. Okay. Why do you blame me for everything? Okay. I feel like this was their energy before. Right? And now they see, you know what I'm saying? That the majority of this was their fault. <laughs> you know? And I do feel like Divine Feminine, if you look at some of the things that you used to do, you know, in this connection, maybe you can, you know, you can own up to some things too. Like, okay, maybe I could have did this better. Maybe I shouldn't have said that, you know, but they are seeing now, you know, that how this all transpired had a lot to do with their decision making, right? It had a lot to do with uh, how they were handling you, okay? And it was not the correct way. Look, I didn't think I could ever feel this way about anybody, I'm trying to tell you. Ooh, the way you opened this person up emotionally is just insane. I don't know what you did to your person. I don't know how you did this. I don't know how you were able to take this very closed off person, this very stubborn person, and break their heart wide open to a new world. But you did. You did. And they're coming in after you. So get ready, you guys. <laughs>
these were the messages that came out for you if you resonated with any of this be sure to hit that like button for your girls the easiest way to support the channel all right and if you would like uh to send a donation just hit that thanks button send me a message so i can say thank you all right i have a lot of readings that i need to get to you guys personal readings so thank you mwah, so so much if you would like a personal reading with me all my information is in the description box below as well as the bio as always it's your favorite goddess goddess platinum and i'm out